So what it is, is it's a uh, new generation of electrified air conditioning uh, that has three times the cooling capacity, that's three to four times more efficient than the existing systems. Uh, it also consolidates two systems into one system. So it's a no idle system, but it also removes the underhood uh, compressor AC system. So you have one compressor, one air conditioning system that's independently controlling the environment of both the sleeper and the front of the truck. And uh, it's doing those independently and uh, it saves quite a bit of energy. Parasitic load under the hood, but you also have a no idle system that runs for a full 11 hours. So you're not do, taking any of that idle gas that you have to put in there. Usually it's something along the lines of 3,000 hours per truck idles, and they're burning about a half gallon to three quarters of a gallon of gas every hour that they're idling. Uh, so, I mean, just right there, you're talking about uh, 1,500 to uh, 2,000 gallons of gas a year. So Joe, the uh, fan just uh, kicked on there. Sure. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. Well, this has to be a real uh, amazing thing that maybe even the government's looking at. Uh, sure. Actually, uh, the original version of this system was done as part of uh, it's the San Joaquin Valley uh, Air Resource Board. Uh, it was part of a, a grant that was done in conjunction with the EPA and DOE uh, for this 48 volt system, actually on a refrigerated truck. Uh, so that application is on a refrigerated truck out in California now uh, where they've actually done third-party verification of the savings. They ran it side by side with another diesel truck that runs just like an APU does yeah. and uh, the savings was about $12,500 a year per truck in terms of fuel and maintenance because it's all electric, there's no fuel, you plug it in at night, that's all you do. In this system you don't even have to plug it in. So. Well, we're still in the exper experimental stage at this point, obviously. But but uh, is it coming? I mean, is it going to be? Is it around the corner? Yeah, I think. Um, I mean, really, we just finished uh, durability reliability testing. Uh, we're probably right on the verge of field trial readiness. So, I think it's right there. 